Now, I'm not one to believe in anything superstitious, but does anyone else find it odd that a movie about an airline pilot who crash-landed a plane into the Hudson River safely is coming out the same weekend as the 15-year anniversary of 9-11? I think it's one hell of a coincidence, but it is kind of something to think about. Sully is directed by Clint Eastwood and stars Tom Hanks as Captain Chelsea Sullenberger, who was a pilot who, back in January of 2009, had a problem with the airline he was flying for U.S. Airways. There was a malfunction with two of the engines, so he had to make a water landing into the Hudson River with 155 souls on board, including his own, and 155 survivors, which is a very impressive thing to do. But this movie goes into the story of putting the blame on him for the fact that he possibly could have made a safe landing onto a runway. So this movie is pretty much a courtroom drama detailing all the political bullshit that happened between Captain Sully and the prosecutors. Now, as I said before, this movie is directed by Clint Eastwood, who, for me personally, hasn't really been that good as a director in quite some time. I didn't really like American Sniper. I mean, sure, it got nominated for Best Picture, but that doesn't mean it has to be one of the best movies of the year, which I thought it was just okay. It had good elements, but it had some other stuff that was just... Mm, poorly done. So, my anticipation for this movie was kind of middle road like it has the potential to be really good because it's got one tom hanks huh? another thing that piqued my curiosity was that this is the first film to have almost its entirety shot with imax cameras like about 90 percent of the movie i believe was shot with imax cameras so i was really looking forward to seeing this uh, in imax however i made the decision not to because i found out that the cameras that they used don't fill up a full eight-story IMAX screen like they do with movies like The Dark Knight or Star Wars The Force Awakens. So for me personally, if a movie filmed with IMAX cameras does not fill up a full eight-story IMAX screen, then it's not true IMAX and there's no real point in seeing it. So I just decided to see it in a regular theater. And plus, if the movie ended up being bad, I didn't have to spend $25 to see it. Yes, that's how much an IMAX ticket costs here in LA. So I didn't get to see the IMAX experience, but how is the movie by itself? Uh, pretty good, actually. This movie was kind of a surprise for me. I mean, it's coming out during Oscar season, and it's one of the first Oscar-type movies. Uh, but, as I mentioned, Clint Eastwood, to me, hasn't been good in years. Uh, but it's very well done. The movie's biggest strength for me comes from the performances of not just Tom Hanks, uh, who does a really fantastic job because he's Tom Hanks, but also Aaron Eckhart, who plays uh, Sully's co-pilot, uh, Jeff Skeelys. The two of them have real great chemistry, and they're real powerhouse actors that play off each other fairly well. As much as the movie is using Tom Hanks as a selling point, I don't think Aaron Eckhart should go unnoticed, because he and his mustache did an amazing job in this movie. And one thing that I think this movie does a really good job at doing is delving into Sully's mind as he thinks back to the crash, what could have happened, and if he really could have landed on a runway rather than diving it into the Hudson. And it does lend to some drama right there. Did this guy really do the right thing? Even though, yeah, he did save everybody on board, he should have been a hero right there, but did he make the right call? And I love how the movie really delves into that aspect. And it even makes you consider the same thing. I mean, we all look at this guy as a hero because everyone on that plane survived uh, but was that but did he just take the easy way out one element that's used during these thought provoking moments for sully that is actually something i can't stand are dream sequences i mean the movie opens up with a dream sequence but i feel that these are very well done because again this is coming from the guy who was responsible for the water landing so he's basically having traumatic flashbacks uh, or dreams uh, to what could have happened if he tried to go for a runway 
and it was compelling. The crash itself, I thought, was very well done. It's not very flashy at all. It's very much a realistic portrayal of how a plane crashing into water would be like. I mean, I don't speak from experience myself, but I do like how we get many different angles from the scenario to make it very real. We get the point of view from the two pilots, we get point of view from the passengers, we get point of view from air traffic control, and even from regular civilians who see this thing happening right before their very eyes. And it makes it feel very grounded and believable. So much so that I don't think I'll be flying for a while because this is one of those movies where I watch it, it doesn't make flying that fun for a while, so I think I'm just gonna stay in LA for a bit, or if I'm going out somewhere else, I'm driving. Now, there were a few things that I actually didn't like about this movie. The main problem I had, uh, and it's not enough to really ruin the movie for me, is that there are some weak performances from some of the actors who play the passengers. Uh, not all of them, there are a few good ones, but I just felt like they came across as a little too hokey and not really believable when the bad shit starts happening. But that's just me. And then there are a few things here and there that are just awkward or kind of egotistical for Clint Eastwood. I won't say exactly what it is. And it's probably not worth mentioning because it's not enough to bring my grade down. So, Sully is, I think, a very well-made movie. It's short, direct to the point. It has great performances from two powerhouse actors. It has some dramatic elements, and though it didn't make me cry like a Oscar movie probably should, it is a movie that's definitely worth seeing in your lifetime. And that's high praise coming from somebody who, once again, doesn't think Clint Eastwood has been a good director in a while, so definitely worth checking out. And that's my review for Sully. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and tell me what your thoughts are on the movie, if and when you've seen it. And as always, this is The Real Mr. Robinson telling you... There is only one.